Right, welcome back to Harold Road. Video number two, the flashing tail lamp we're going to fit to the class 56. Okay, so we've got the the unit here from Train Tech. I have just painted the two LEDs. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mount this um, into the space here. There is space for it to go using a bit of blue tack, obviously, so I can change the battery now and again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add extra wires, go through the cab and onto the outside. So I've never done anything like this before. I hope it's going to work. Uh, I am sort of 10 minutes into it. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to trim a couple of these wires off one of these, insert it into the little control unit, then solder two more wires and then drill some holes through into the cab and hopefully we'll be able to mount the tail lamp on the outside of the model. Yeah, exciting this is. I've never done something like this. I do like to do a bit of trial and error, so let's see how it goes. All right, so what I've done here is I've extended the two wires that go into the control unit. I'm going to add two extra wires so that can go through to the front of the cab. I'm now going to solder these two onto the end of the LED. All right, so what I've done now is I've marked the wire to go to each corresponding wire. So I put a bit of masking tape on this side and I'll solder that wire to that wire and that wire to this wire. I've drilled two holes in the front and poked the tail lamp through. So it's now just a question of soldering these two wires together, putting the body back on, and then seeing if it will run. So what I've done here is I've extended the wires. I'm going to drill a hole through the bulkhead here, feed the wires through, and out through the cab. And hopefully this will all work, and we'll have a flashing tail lamp. Um, it's going to be a bit of a job to wet, uh, solder the bottom join with but we'll have a go at it anyway uh, we're getting on quite well um, so hopefully you can see what I'm doing here there's the control unit I've extended the two wires I'll now feed them through the back of the cab onto the floor through the front and to the flashing hopefully red tail lamp so here we are it's working we have a flashing red tail lamp so this loco can be now moved around on, on the main line. It's quite a simple job. Uh, it's a train tech um, flashing red tail lamp. Basically you just solder two wires to the end of the LED, drill two holes through the bulkhead, through the cab, re-solder at the other end, and you have a flashing red tail lamp. I've not seen this on a locomotive. I've seen it done on wagons, so it was a bit of a challenge. It is a little bit fiddly to um, solder up in the cab, but the best thing to do is remove the cab and then mist all your windows up so you can't actually see the cabs actually missing. So there's basically no cab detail in there whatsoever. Uh, the control unit itself has a motion detector and after four minutes it will shut down. As soon as this train is pulled by another train, the um, LEDs will start flashing. So quite simple, really basically just stick it in your middle of your loco with a bit of blue tack so you can change the battery add two wires, join up the other end, drill two holes in the uh, cab, feed it through, resolder, job done. I enjoyed doing that, that was quite good. <laughs> I hope you took inspiration from that, and if you need any uh, advice or questions on it, just uh, drop me a line. Um, yeah, quite happy with that. Okay, see you later.